at the BTEC Tech Award and Enterprise Component 1, Learning Aim B, which is about market research. In your assignment, you'll be trying to meet or do some command words. These are the words which are going to get you passes, merits and distinction, your tier two language. In this video, we'll be going through the command words you will find in the assignment for Learning Aim B. So, if you see in the assignment to get a level one pass, we're being asked to identify how two local enterprises use market research to meet customers' needs and understand competitors. So, identify to turn that into a level one merit. The only thing that has changed is the word outline. And again, when we get to level two pass, it's exactly the same thing, but with the word explain. Once we've done that, we now need to look at a level two merit where the word is we're discussing how the market research methods are designed. And finally, to get a distinction, we are going to assess how effective they are. So in this video, I'm going to take you through identify, outline, explain, discuss and assess in more detail with examples. So the level one pass, we are identifying. What identify means is you need to give me the basic facts about a topic. So what we're going to be using as an example is Hook Farm. They are a farm which sell raw milk to local customers and farmers markets. So we're trying to identify how Hook Farm uses market research to meet customers' needs and understand competitors. I have a small example here. Hook Farm look at online customer reviews talk to customers on the milk round and farmers markets and look at what sells best to understand customers needs. Short, to the point, pretty basic, but you have talked about the topic. That would be a level one pass. Obviously with the whole thing done, that's just a tiny little part of it. In level one merit, we are asked to outline. Outline differs from identify, we want to clear description this time without going into too much detail though it can still be fairly basic so if we have a look here we've got one primary market research method that hook farm uses is focus groups they get customers to try samples at the farmers markets this is qualitative data because the customers are giving their opinion about the product this method of research is done verbally as hook farmer talking directly to their customers we have described indeed and we've used some specialist terms like primary market research and qualitative data so if you're outlining it is a clear description of what they do but i haven't gone into too much detail so level two pass we are now asked being asked to explain how two local enterprises the same thing so the word explain means we're making our point clear by providing sufficient detail and we're giving reasons for our thinking the most important thing to getting and explain is using the correct connectives. And I think like this is because so, therefore, the reason for this is, the impact of it is, all of these things are great connectives to use. And you must make sure you're including them if you want to get a level two pass and explain. So I have a small example of the type of thing we could be writing here. Again, we're using Hook Farm. So one primary market research method that Hook Farm uses is giving out samples of their new products at farmers markets. Most of the customers buy raw milk, but Hook Farm has recently introduced butter. So I'm giving more detail about why they're giving it out. The customers can give them instant feedback on the butter. On the, so, so that's a, that's a connective to use that they'll understand what they think about it. The feedback is qualitative. Again, I'm using the specialist words. And because, again, explaining connective, of the one-to-one -one situation, Hook Farm can ask follow-up questions. This benefits, oh God, more explanation, Hook Farm, as they can gather in-depth understanding of their customers' views and use it to develop their product range. So can you see from the level one merit before, which gave some detail, this is a lot more in depth and is giving reasons for why they are using that type of research in your point of view. So now the level two merit, we're now being asked to discuss how the market research methods are designed 
to meet their customers' needs and understand competitors. So we're looking at two businesses and we're discussing. When we see the word discuss, we have to present an argument for and against. We need to look at the advantage and disadvantage of each technique. So in my example, still talking about the giving out free samples, the butter at the farmer's market. And I can say their customers are able to give them verbal feedback. This is great. That is an advantage because Hook Farm can ask follow-up questions to get a really good understanding of how their customers of their customers expectations and their current buying patterns so great for hook farm but oh i've got a however the disadvantage is kicking in this qualitative always good to put in the words research has a very small sample size and could lead to hook farm to design products that suit very few of their customers that are asking only a few people, they could be very biased and not lead to a product that suits the majority of the customers. So that is a problem with talking to a few customers at the farmer's market. Also, when the person serving is busy talking, they may lose sales as other customers may not want to wait. So I've talked about why it's good. I've talked to why it's bad. Clearly, I have just discussed this point. And finally, the last criteria is to assess. Now, please note, we're only assessing for one enterprise, so don't write it about both, only write it about one. And it's the effectiveness, how, basically how good the market research methods are. So when we're assessing, we're going to consider how good each method is at finding out useful information and make a judgment on the importance of the method. When you are assessed at school, we put a value on something and we are going to be putting a value on the market research method, saying one is better than other. Now, I would in this section perhaps write, I think the most important method of market research is, what is the thing that gives them the best information about their customers? This is because, why do you think that? Why do you think that talking to customers is do better than doing a questionnaire. Despite the drawbacks of the method, so the drawbacks when I talked about focus groups in the um, merit part, I was saying that it might um, reduce sales, it might be very biased, but I'm still saying I think it's more effective than questionnaires possibly because of the qualitative side of the data. So those are the sort of things that you will be needing to write about when you are assessing. We could say when these methods are used in conjunction, so perhaps when a questionnaire is given and focus groups are carried out, that is more powerful because. So we are saying what is the best way, how effective is their market research at finding out the information they need. And if you can manage that about one enterprise, then that is a distinction.